my name is Marianne Opes. I'm a complex abdomen specialist at Regents Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota. And today we're talking about troubleshooting the installation negative pressure systems. So this is my YouTube channel. I try to do quick little videos that can help you out at your hospital. So if you like it, hit like, and if you want to subscribe, we'll send you updates when new videos are shot. That would be super fun. So we're going to talk about negative pressure wound therapy with installation and troubleshooting those blockage alarms. Whenever you use negative pressure with installation, you're really cleaning the wound up a lot. And so sometimes the little track pads can get kind of clogged. So we know that the negative pressure wound therapy track pad looks like this, and it's where the fluid and the debris from the wound bed goes into the canister, right? And in our large kits, they're separate. The installation is separate than the negative pressure. I mean, it comes in the kit together, but obviously they're not cooked together. But in the medium kit, they actually come together on one port. So you don't have two different separate tubings. And so if you want to have them separate and you, you only have medium kits or something like that, you can also get these just independent without any foam at all, just a FYI. So if I'm going to repair a blockage, so I got the blockage alarm, it looks like this. And you're like, oh no, not a blockage alarm. It's, it's not to panic. You're just going to take that trackpad and you're going to cut it free and peel it right off. I just do one little clip and then I just peel the whole thing off and I cover that old hole with a drape. And obviously we would do this on the days you wouldn't need to be changing the dressing, right? We're doing this to allow the dressing to stay in place. And so then I'm going to cut a new hole and I'm going to put a new track pad down and then pull back your blue tab. And voila, you have fixed your blockage alarm and you are back at it with your negative pressure. Here's a nice little gentleman that had a wound and we had the negative pressure system deployed. We're using gravity where we have the installation at the top and a negative pressure kind of downstream a little bit so that we can get that wound. He had a blockage alarm, but it was on the day he was going to have his dressing changed anyways. So I peeled it up and this is what I saw. Isn't that super interesting? You can see where the sloughy non-viable tissue had come through the foam and even into the track of that track pad. And so here's what the top of the wound dressing looked like after I peeled the Dermatec. And this is what the patient's wound looked like in just one dressing change, which is really quite remarkable how much work this dressing actually can do. I have a cute video that shows you a technique for handling blockage alarms. The installation is separate than the negative pressure, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you have a blockage alarm for your negative pressure system, you simply need to clip the edge of this and peel it off. Take that off. You can seal it with a Tegaderm film, another piece of drape, extra back drape that's in the room. We're just gonna use a little piece of Tegaderm today. So you're just gonna seal that up. Now you have a closed system again. And you're simply gonna move that location over a couple of centimeters because the blockage is in this foam right here. We're going to get another track pad, put it down, pull this little tab off, and then turn your pump back on. All right, so that is blockage alarms in a nutshell. I hope it helps you in your clinical practice. And if you ever have any questions or thoughts, you can go to complexwounds.com and send me a note. Like if you know a better way or a different way to handle these things, I'm always glad to either talk about it or maybe we could have you come on the video. We could do a video together, which would be super fun as well. So that's all for today. Have a wonderful fistula Friday. Even though we didn't talk about fistulas today, they're still my love. Little heart. And have a great day.